Hello and welcome. This week we're going to be making a very simple paper treble jang. Now to do that, all we're going to need is six sheets of paper plus a few spare ones. We're going to need something to roll the paper around, spoon, wooden spoon, some cello tape, a little bit of weight which we're going to use some coins for, a bit of string and an old uh, plastic bag. So, first thing we're going to do is we need to make, uh, we need to make six, we need to make six supports for our treble jane. We're going to take a sheet of paper, take our spoon, and we're going to very, very simply roll the paper round the spoon. Once we've got it rolled round, we need to have four pieces of well, I mean, have four pieces of cello tape holding this together. The reason we need four is we're going to cut this in the middle later on. Okay, we now have our six supports. What we now need to do is cut them all in half. So, get a piece of paper, fold it in half, get a pencil. Ow. Sorry. Mark the pencil, halfway point, get a piece of the paper, and roughly cut them. half. First of all, we're going to make one more slightly wider piece of paper. And this is going to form an axle. Can I have, oh, we've got one left, have one more uh, piece of cello tape please. So loosely roll it, don't want it too tight. And once you've rolled it, make sure that can move freely inside there and tape it down. We're now going to start building the main thing. One base unit. We're going to come up off the base unit on both sides forming triangles. A bit like this. And now we've got a nice spinning axle in the middle. To give it a little bit more strength, we've got some extra ones which we're going to slot in here. So trim it down to size. Okay, we're now going to make one more long roll of paper. What we're now going to do is we're going to snip a bit off the end. I don't really know, I'm guessing about that much. Having done this, we now need to attach this to our treble jet. Now, the throwing end comes down the back where we've got our raised support, and the weight end comes on this side where there's no gap at the bottom. get a stack of coins. Now we're going to start off with some cello tape. It's easier to remove later than gaffer tape. Then we're going to move on to gaffer tape because why wouldn't we? So a nice long bit of cello tape. 
Yep, move things out of the way. Fingers that way. There we go. We're then going to get our coins. Which is about the width of the third tape. And we're going to roll them round, hopefully, in the third tape. So, as you can see now, my stack of coins are being rolled around inside the third tape. There's my stack of coins. This is now going to act as the weight on this bit here. Straight on to our mechanism like that. And look at that. The weight, oh, stick it to itself, is there. It's hanging nicely as it should be. So, next thing we need to do is get a paper clip. From our paper clip, we're going to take one end and extend it out, leaving the other end like this. And we're going to third tape it one end to make our firing mechanism like that. We're now going to get some string and we're going to attach it here with guess what? Gaffer tape! Attach it to the end of our firing arm and now what happens here is that when this comes down we want this to come through to a basket about there and back through. So we're going to need about that much string. At this end here, we're going to make a little knot. Something really simple, which will just fling off. Now, what we now need is our basket. For that, we have a plastic bag. From our plastic bag, we are going to cut a very simple circular-ish basket which I'm going to start by cutting a square out of the bag just a rough cut square, nothing overly fancy a bit like this and then I'm going to make it a little bit more circular I'm sure you lot can make a much better neater job than me now from the middle of this section here, we just want to attach this and then what we want to do is we want to pinch up the ends. So I'm going to pinch the ends first and then I'm going to attach it. Pinch up the ends and to make it that, I'm just folding it over and making a little pinch there. Taking the tape and sticking it on. It also makes a nice little area for me now to attach the string to. Another similar pinching effect here. And what we've now instantly got is a little basket being formed. So, just like that, there is now my basket. Alright, can you please hold the end of this up? In the air, hold it up in the air, that would be fine. We're going to find the midpoint, which is roughly about here. And we're just going to attach the string to our firing basket. Add a bit more gaffer tape to help make the full effect of a basket. What we now need is to put my little hook back on the end. We now need to find something to fire. Perfect. So, when we come to firing the Traveller Jane, what we do is, Alex, can you just hold the end up? We're going to take a couple of these and put it into our basket. The basket gets pulled through underneath. Put it nice all the way through, fast possible, and we And it fires. Just like that. Okay, now, you may want to try experimenting with changing the weight, uh, the counterweight. You equally might want to try and change weights in relation to things that you fire. However, please be careful because these things are a lot more powerful than they first look. 
and you can fire things a very long way. M glass marbles will do some damage. So, experiment around. See, 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 what, see what works best for you. That one doesn't work well for me. Um, and please do post your um, results onto our Facebook page. Thank you very much.